and as you remember we have soldered all the motors the radio link r6 dsm um, asbus receiver the camera the mptx and now it is time to um uh, connect it to the beta flight because I did flash this um, flight controller before soldering uh, and installing uh, with um, beta flight um, software but we go uh, before we go any further first we have to link the receiver with the radio so if you do have um, radio link radios so this is how we do you uh, first uh, turn on the radio then press mode hold it a bit longer and then you have to go to the model selection and I will choose number seven okay are you sure yes and you can see that it changed to um, model number seven after that we have to leave and go to the model type and here we have to change from helicopter to aircraft well it says aircraft actually it's a drone to the drone and then press safe yes we're sure and now it is saved as drawn we can come back to the main menu we do not have to turn it off instead what we will do now we can link the receiver with um, uh, receiver with the radio so we do not have to plug the battery again enough to plug the USB cable from your PC so let's do it and we can see that the blue light is on it means the receiver is on as well and the blue light indicates all sort of this bluish light indicates silver bluish lights indicates the as bus um, type so here on the right hand side there is a little um, bottom button and I will show it to you guys so you can see here there is a little button so what we need to do we have to press and hold it for I think a um, few seconds until we see that there is connection on the radio that's it so let's put it here hopefully you can see it Right. What can I do here? Put something else. It's going to be easier to see. All right, now it's clear. So let's press the button and hold it. And as you see, we were holding it for about a um, few seconds and the connection appeared. And now the receiver and the radio are linked. And we can see that the receiver now is on, the radio is on, the cable is connected. USB cable is connected to the flight controller 
and now we can go directly to better flight connected first of all uh, we go to ports and then we want to um, open the rx uart2 um, because as you remember we did solder the receiver to rx uh, to uart2 so we have to activate that then press save and reboot okay we're back then we go to configurations and we have to go scroll down we see the um, receiver and we have to choose serial based receiver spec set as bus as umd because we are using as bus receiver so let's choose this one and then another option here appears and if we all open that we'll see spectrum 1024 and so on and there is as bus as well so we choose as bus here and after that we can press save and reboot again all right so if we go to the ports number two is activated let's go one more time to configuration all right it looks all good as bus as bus now we can go to receiver and here we probably can try default let's try default and press save and it's saved and let's try to move the throttle stick also oh, the throttle stick has to be changed on the on the radio let's move your to the left to the right your corresponds right let's let's move the directional stick forward backwards left right so directional stick corresponding right just the throttle so um, I will show you how to change um, reverse the throttle on the uh, radio in a minute so we can save that one more time and now we may go to the modes but before we go to the modes what we can do now we can um, choose the channel with which we will um, arm motor and disarm motor and uh, we need another uh, channel to switch between uh, the modes the flying modes so let's um, normally I use this one here which is F to arm disarm motors so let's move that well nothing moves here so we can see that auxiliary one is C so auxiliary one gonna be for uh, uh, it's gonna be for modes and F is not responding so what we can do now we can uh, activate f here look for the f on the radio control and um, reverse the throttle so again let's go let's press mode then we go to reverse and throttle is number three you can see number three says throttle let's reverse that and it says reverse and we press here this button here okay it is reversed great and let's go to auxiliary and channel and we want to activate 
F. All right. Come back. All right. So. Okay, auxiliary channel. And we are looking for channel F. So let's try channel six as F. Okay, switch F. All right. And now let's try to, to move F and see what happens. So now you can see if we move F, F was activated and it comes as auxiliary two. And as you can see as well, the throttle is normal now because we did revert that. And we are back, so now we know that F is auxiliary 2 and C is auxiliary 1. So now we can go to modes and we have arm. Let's press arm and we do remember that auxiliary one oxy, uh, that uh, we wanted to move uh, to use F this switch here as to arm and disarm motor so it's auxiliary two okay auxiliary two let's move F and it moves good so we can see that it moves we can as well expand it Move. Right, good. And then we want self leveling mode, which is angle mode. And it was auxiliary one because if we move, see here, we'll see that it changes. So we can expand it too. So at the top, it's going to be manual mode. And if we, if we move it any down to the middle or to the bottom one, it's going to be self-leveling mode. Right, good. And we can hit save. And that's it. Now we can disconnect it from the battle flight and plug the battery and see what happens.